everybody, this is Rockwell, and I have a few new poems to showcase for you guys today. This is following um, the little project that I last had, which was uh, called Water Droplets in a Dream. Um, and these are just a few kind of things that will be shown in what I hope is going to be my poetry book. Um, so, title to be dated. Um, but this first poem is called Older. The reality is harsh when you step out of the dream and wake up to the fact that your age doesn't represent a performative stage. This dream life you've been living isn't actually so great because the realities and truths are keeping you awake. The kind that shapes your everyday and the playlists of sound that makes you who you are is a bit buckled down. In this dream you had, there was a kid and he needed to be protected. He's strong and proud. He wore the title of King Proud as he put on his crown. Who named him King anyways? The world longed to be mine, but there was this child who, even though felt like a king, needed to be protected when he was told to try. Try, try, try. That's all we can do, and that one specific engraved word is the reason I'll survive. In this haunted house of a dream where each door is a cause against the king, the shadow will close those doors as they come, but curious the little boy, he'll open those doors even though he doesn't see what's behind them, mindlessly. The fake fantasy, the crippling thoughts that hold him hostage, the people around him who, when he's really thinking about life, can't understand how they are, how they enjoy him, and how they value that specific moment they are in. The thoughts of whether who I am, is it good? Does it impress people? Do I impress myself? Am I doing well? The doors actually like to open themselves and they are tough to shut back, especially when one's alone. When my mind escapes my body and the mirror reflects an image that doesn't match half the things that are going on inside. But I'll appreciate this vessel another time. Really what's inside matters, but it's hard when the image is constantly shattered, especially when the doors open on their own. Filling the king full of doubts, he runs. The hallway full of emptiness. It's so dark, but there's only one way out, and it's down this hall, even though a light can't be seen. If we could, everybody's future would be longed for, and we wouldn't have to try because we'd have more. But we do. We try. Try, try, try. And the shadow closing these doors and protecting the king can't be seen, but he's always been there for the king. And in the future, in that future of darkness down the hallway with no light, the king will one day see. The nightmares behind those doors eventually get shut, and the only path that matters is the one ahead. Should the child choose to stop running and look back, he'll just see his own shadow. Even though it's dark, and you feel alone, the attempts at going forward are correct. And you, now older child, have yourself. Protect yourself and try. In this dream of life that doesn't have an end. So this next poem is called Unromantic Wine. There's something so uncomfortably still about silent silence, especially during complete silence with yourself. Really a terrible feeling, part of aging wine, the flavor of absence, where the little spoils of completeness that doesn't exist. Not in one single sip you take, is there a full satisfaction of comfort, a flavor of consistency, flavor of trust, Flavor of undying companionship. And not in the romantic kind of flavor, but the kind that really brings a sense of forever and reliance. But that flavor doesn't exist. Not when you get older. Because that flavor is one you'll never really get to taste. It's your personal palate. The one that's constantly changing. And that's a silence you have to be comfortable with. Alright. So there's that one. This poem is called Cycle of the Moon. It was inspired by the painting Life and Death. Fast paced speed cycle of light, your wind is knocking out my fight. The drive of utter triumph, just give me one moment. To jump out and then back in again with the same shine. Because I'm starting to feel unreal again in your cycle of consistency. And frankly, like all consistent things, it's beginning to bore me. And flames that high shouldn't die down so quickly. Just give me one night, maybe two, with the moon to refill my tune. 
We function and formulate from day to day, and it's a cycle. It's not real living. Not with the love and peace we're meant to feel and have and to be. And when that's it, when it's over, we'll see a light, and that light will burst out and the soul and conscious of your celestial star will expose. And you will feel free, and you'll reach the planets of others at a speed of light, that you'll know how it feels to finally be free. Free of burden and time and falseness. You will roam free, for you are no longer bound by a moon. So this last poem that I'm going to do is untitled. It may perhaps be called Colors One Day. Um, and it is going to have a home eventually, but here it is for now. There's something so beautiful about the spark. The glow in the dark, snap of sound, kind of heart pound. The moment of realization in your arc of history, admiration. Immortality and fantasy, you bring infinity. Bring yourself back up from the deep sea anchor to the glimmering rise of the chain link beam. Daisy days, full of pink haze, shall remain, and images of portrayal shall fulfill one's grail. Cheers to what we make of it. Image me blue or green, however color you like, as long as it sparks and it's bright. So that's all I'm going to share for now. Um, Again, this is for upcoming project of mine that I hope will see things, will like see a form of at some point soon. Um, but there it is. Thank you guys for watching as of right now. And till the next thing I have to share. <laughs> Thank you.